The truth about the royal family for Meghan Markle, Meghan's rebuttal to the firm's sentiments, and more deceit when it comes to Meghan and Harry's message to Princess Catherine. This is the main content of today's news. Welcome back. We are Kate Middleton and the Queen Channel. So a question has come up. Do members of the royal family feel any regret when it comes to Harry marrying Meghan? Or do they really love her for who she is? Well, here's my two cents. Of course, they don't love Meghan, first of all, and I don't believe any of them even like her, and that includes Eugenie. Not only because of the way that she has treated all of them, but because she's a liar, a thief, a fraud. And my suspicion is they're just happy that now she's living 6,000 miles away from them, even though, of course, she's still inflicting damage on the family whenever she gets the chance. Moreover, while I believe a few of them could have felt a mature woman would have been the making of Harry... Once they realized Meghan Markle was so spiteful, so lazy, and so jealous, I mean, the way she was alienating Harry from his family and all his friends, they understood that she wasn't the person she pretended to be, and that Harry was a lost cause. That said, I don't believe they suspected all the lies, the vitriol, the jealousy, and the animosity that Harry has spewed forth, both verbally and in print, and I'm sure now they just feel relieved that he's not around. I'm guessing they never truly saw that side of Harry, but now it's too late, it has been revealed. And I'm sure they all know about the man who, if he had remained in the royal family, could have become the enemy within. (laughs) There's certainly no way back for Harry at this point. Now Meghan has been a lost cause from the very beginning, in spite of all those puff pieces telling us that she was the Queen's favorite. I mean, come on. Meghan Markle herself has admitted to being a liar, and also a jealous fraud. And her star just continues to sink. So why was Meghan so disappointed when the royal family didn't treat her like a princess? Oh, well, nobody received as much care and attention as Meghan did when she first got there. Nobody. Everybody was so hopeful that this woman was going to turn out to be a good thing for the monarchy. Now, there were some little red flags looking back. And then there were more red flags. And then they were so obvious we couldn't ignore them. Because from the very beginning, it seemed like Megan thought that she was better than everybody else. She would snub people. And she was convinced that the whole world had been waiting for her. She seemed to have this ridiculous idea that she would have so much power, she would get all the money she wanted and all the crown jewels. It seemed like Meghan Markle had no idea that she was going to be expected to work, to attend to her duties, and she was going to have to abide by rules. And then we started hearing the rumors of her bullying, her being rude to everybody, her tossing hot tea at a member of staff. And then Harry changed. Used to, he was so happy-go-lucky, and he turned miserable. I cannot believe that Harry wasn't embarrassed by some of Meghan's behavior. But it seemed like he couldn't control her. So yeah, I mean, we did want a princess, but instead we got this delusional nutcase who believed herself to be better than everybody else. When she didn't get her own way, she resorted to bullying, she was rude, and she would make these spiteful, hateful comments. And look, there is nothing wrong with blazing your own trail, but not when joining a worldwide respected ancient institution in a different country with their own rules and traditions. I mean, the truth is, they've spent a long time with trial and error, they know what they're doing. You would have to be a complete idiot not to see that. And I do wonder if Megan even cares that her selfish behavior is the reason that she's hated all over the world. She's a narcissist. She believes that everything that happened during her time with the royal family can't be her fault. Instead, it's the fault of the British public because they're so racist. They're haters. They never gave her a chance. In spite of evidence from their wedding that people were so happy that Harry had chosen Megan for his bride. But what a lack of respect she showed for the late queen. And who does Meghan think she is, believing that she's the official stand-in for her late majesty, the queen? No, obviously not. I mean, Meghan Markle needed to address her lack of protocol, her lack of manners. I mean, how ignorant can one woman be? And she can't use age as an excuse either. She was old enough to know better. But she still acts like a naughty child. Well, it didn't take very long for everybody in the world to figure out what Meghan Markle was. Not an ounce of decorum etiquette. And she doesn't know how to greet and welcome a foreign dignitary to make them feel welcome and at ease. She had no business being a working royal. Because Meghan thought that it was all about her. She was never going to show the right amount of respect to the guest. Her manners have simply never been there. She doesn't feel like she needs manners, you see. 
This is a really shocking example, though, of Meghan Markle being way out of her league and acting like the trash that she really is. That's the only way she knows how to act. She didn't know how to adapt. The royal family showed Meghan a lot more respect than she was entitled to. She was the only fiancé of a royal to be invited to join the family at Sandringham for Christmas before they got married, and she took up the offer, of course. All other girlfriends were only invited after the wedding. Now, maybe Catherine was invited after the engagement, but she understood protocol, so she waited until after the wedding. But Meghan was treated specially, more favorably than any other woman who married into the family. And maybe that's why she thought she was so special. I mean, she realized that she had been given preferential treatment, and so she believed that meant that she would be the queen bee, but she couldn't have been more wrong. The truth is, nobody really knows how much care and attention Megan got or didn't get when she first arrived. And we don't know how much care and attention is typically given to royal brides who are never going to be queen consorts. I mean, believing that Meghan Markle was so hard done by is indulging in wishful thinking. All right, so let's talk about Meghan and Harry's message to Princess Catherine. Some strong feelings were led to believe, but these two have never shown or expressed any other feelings for Catherine other than jealousy and hatred and scorn. And so now, because they think they need some good publicity, they have come out with this, a pathetic attempt to persuade us that they really care about Catherine, that they're actually kind, sympathetic people who are so worried about the health of the Princess of Wales. But many people are suggesting that the abuse the royal family has suffered, thanks to Harry and Meghan, could have partially led to the cancer in both the King and Catherine. And I don't think it's that much of a stretch, folks. I mean, my suspicion is that Megan, behind closed doors, is excited because she believes that her mission has been completed. She's so excited and feeling so powerful that those two have been diagnosed with cancer. Some people are even saying that Meghan Markle uses voodoo dolls. Now, I don't really believe that she has that much power. I don't necessarily believe in the dark arts. I'm a Christian. But I wouldn't put it past her. I believe she would try. I swear, Meghan Markle doesn't have any positive emotions inside of her. She's not kind. She's not generous. She just feels hatred and envy towards anyone she believes has slighted her. And that includes basically everybody, but especially the royal family and her own family, too. I mean, for me, this is the lowest thing they have ever done, and they deserve all the criticism that comes their way. I mean, they didn't even address her using her title. That just shows that the message is more for public consumption than anything else. This was not a real heartfelt gesture. I mean, they use their Duke and Duchess titles whenever they get the opportunity, but they did not refer to her as the Princess of Wales. So either they're trying to degrade her or they're trying to claim that they're more familiar with her than they really are. It sounds like Meghan, though. Meghan is so jealous she can't see straight. And I do believe that all the stress Harry and Meghan caused the royal family, and also the citizens of England, and people in general, I do believe it is partially responsible for the family's illnesses. And perhaps even some deaths. I mean, they hasten the Queen's passing with their betrayal and their hatred. They are beyond redemption. They can never be forgiven for everything they have done. And the fact that Parliament hasn't taken away the titles yet is also unforgivable if you ask me. But see, I think Meghan is privately rejoicing at the horrible news for both the king and definitely the Princess of Wales. I mean, Meghan Markle was so excited to be able to come out in the media as having reached out to Prince William and Catherine with her very affected tone of voice, offering words of consolation while actually enjoying the despair within that family. She is absolutely disgusting. I mean, Harry could not have chosen a worse wife. And then when he rushed back to the UK to see his father despite being unwanted, it was another nail in his coffin. Harry wasn't worried about his father. He just wanted to get the scoop, and he wanted to figure out what his inheritance was going to be. I cannot stand the both of them. Well, folks, that's the main content in today's news. How do you feel about it? Please leave your thoughts below in the comments. And we're going to feel even better if you support us with a like, share, and subscribe to Kate Middleton and the Queen channel. Thank you for your interest in watching our videos. Goodbye, and I'll be back to see you soon.